Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Speak English Confidently podcast. I'm the host, Matt Sussman, and I'm joined by my friends, Jam, Ria, and Erwin. And this is our safe space to practice learning new expressions and boosting your career and work opportunities by using language that sounds more confident. So say hi, guys. Hi. Thanks for having us again, Matt. Well, you know what? I really appreciate you all being here uh, each week so that we can practice together and show listeners out there, you know, how they can learn, understand, and use these expressions in their lives too. It's about, you know, making the world a little better place and helping people. So that's why I'm excited to work with you. So thanks for helping me. Thank you. All right. All right. So this week, we have a new expression that we want to uh, help people understand and use in everyday life. And the expression uh, this week is on fire, on fire. It's like you're burning. <laughs> right, right. So on fire, you know, burning up. So, you know, what does this expression mean? You know, it's kind of a, some of these expressions are funny. Don't you think, Rhea? Because it because it sounds wrong, right? Like, it's like yeah. it sounds wrong. Like, like yeah, it, Irwin. Does it when you hear the expression "on fire"? I see you kind of smiling, kind of laughing. Like, <laughs> yeah. as a gamer, yeah. he likes as that. a gamer, as a gamer, <laughs> right? What do you think of that expression? Like, do you, does it sound kind of funny to you? I kind of see it physically in my head. <laughs> right, right, right. It, it draws a very clear image in your mind, right? Yep. Like bringing things up, huh? <laughs> yeah right yeah fire like creates a very strong image doesn't it it is it is it, it can so be early scary. yeah you're a gamer right so do you use the expression on fire or have you heard the expression on fire i've heard of it but um i haven't really used it as well mm -hmm. interesting i would think in the gaming world is probably one that people use um but you know i'm i'm not an expert in the gaming world how about you jam have you heard the expression oh, on fire whenever we let people go you're fine <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so that, no, 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 no. it's like more of confidence it's more of confidence like self-confidence or you see like the passion and the confidence on the heart of the the person you're working with i think that's, that's right all. That's funny. You know, it's actually, that's interesting contrast, right? Uh, to be fired is is terrible, right? Yeah, yeah. That's like, that creates, you know, a very, uh, like you know, that. bad image. On fire is the complete opposite, right? On fire is actually a very positive expression. So that's, that's, I'm glad you brought that up because maybe some listeners are confused. You know, why is fire used in one situation and another situation is completely different? But on fire is actually a very positive, positive meaning. Right. Okay. Ria, have you ever heard the expression on fire? Actually, I've seen it on Google. <laughs> okay. Almost okay. from me. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you can look these expressions up online, but sometimes it's hard to understand them, even if you can read yeah. it. And so what our podcast is about is about, you know, deconstructing or trying to understand these, these expressions a little bit better. So they make sense. Like how do, what does it really mean? And how do I really use it? So we live in a world where there's so much information. There's so many expressions, but unless you really take time to understand it, you're not going to be able to use it in your regular life. You're not going to feel confident using it. This podcast, we actually dive into it and explain it clearly to you so that you can actually use it confidently and give people compliments speak confidently, use it in your work, boost your career opportunities, and also change kind of your, your, your mental outlook, your growth mindset, so that you can be more successful in your life. So let's talk about this expression on fire. Uh, Jam, what does on fire mean to you? On fire means you are passionate, you have your heart on the things that you do, or it can also be like, I'm on fire, meaning I am super confident. I am so into this. That's right. how I like I understand it so far. 
That's perfect. That's a really excellent explanation. I couldn't do any better. That was an on fire explanation, Jim. <laughs> Just <laughs> one time, please. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, you have your heart involved. You feel really excited about this. This is something you're passionate about. So, Jim, what's something that you feel on fire about? Like, what really gets you excited? What do you? What are you passionate about? What What's on fire for you in your life? Well, of course, not going to lie, what makes me go on fire is, you know, the income that I can get so I can help my parents as a breadwinner. And that is the reason why I work very hard. I work four jobs all at the same time because I want to make sure that I live a comfortable life. And I give, I put, they I put food on the table for my parents. So wow, wow, that's very moving. That's very moving. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Jim. I'm sure there's probably many listeners out there too that are trying and want to help their families. Um, you know, your your partners, your children, your parents, your grandparents, um, maybe you know, aunts, uncles, cousins. You know, we're all connected in some way. And that's a wonderful thing that you're doing, Jam, by helping your family and, you know, working really hard and you're, you're on fire for your work because your motivation is to help your family. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. So good job. Thank Rhea, you. what are you on fire about? Um, finishing all my work today. <laughs> fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. So also work. So both Jam and Rhea are really on fire for work. All right. You are you workaholics. Any... You're workaholics. I guess so. You and have a little... also. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Erwin, something other than work, please. <laughs> All right. So I'm always on fire when on... it comes to uh I'm always on fire when it comes to gaming. So whenever I'm always in the zone, uh I'm on fire. I make sure That's that great. I'm making making sure that I'm doing well on my game. So, yeah. And you're going right. to win it. Right? You're, you're going to win the game. Yes, of course. That's the, that's so the you goal. You can rank up, right? You can rank up. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So what makes you excited? What, what it makes you on fire about gaming? Like, what is it that really catches, you, you know, your passion? So uh, what catches my passion is that I can, uh, I also have my TikTok account where I... Uh, share my insights on how I do things. And that's, uh, I want to inspire people on ranking up their games and ranking up on their thought processes when it comes to the uh, decision-making of uh, things in gaming. Excellent, so, excellent. So your motivation, so you're on fire because you want to help other people do well in the gaming uh, you know, experience, right? That's correct. Oh, that's great. That's great. I really like that. Okay. So we've got all kinds of passions in our life, things that we love. You know, it could be cooking, it could be driving, it could be work, it could be children, um, it could be taking care of your parents, it could be traveling. There's so many different things that we all have passions for. And so, you know, you can say, I love this, or my heart is in this. But another way of saying that is, you know, I'm on fire for gaming. I'm on fire for doing a good job. I want to earn more money so I can take care of my family. Um, those are all very natural, you know, uh, you know, human reasons, you know, reasons that we're all trying to do better in our lives, feel good about ourselves. And so on fire is a way of communicating that, right? So uh, on fire is a little bit of a casual expression. You wouldn't use it probably right off the bat in a professional situation, but as you get to know people better, you can drop the expression on fire and it will really make it very clear in people's minds about your commitment, your level of interest in that matter. If you say, you know, I like ice cream or I'm on fire for ice cream, it's like totally different, right? You know, even though it's ice cream, you wouldn't put it on fire. But uh, <laughs> the point is, you know, that it, it, it expresses your level of interest, your passion uh, for the subject. And the listener is like, wow, this is somebody who's really excited, somebody who has a strong motivation, and th they understand your reason for that. And when people know that, that makes a stronger connection. So it sounds like you're speaking more confidently, you're sure of yourself, you're sure of your feeling. And then when you're working with other people, it builds up trust because they know, 
like your level of commitment, your heart, your your passion for this is is more than just doing the action. It's actually, you know, something that you're very strongly attached to. So again, this podcast is about speaking English confidently. If you use the expression on fire, then that will make a very strong impression on other people. So let's practice using this expression on fire in some sentences so that we can get used to it. And some of our listeners out there can also imagine themselves, you know, trying to use this expression. So I encourage everybody not only to understand the expression, but to try to use it in your everyday life uh, once in a while so that you can communicate confidently, build up trust and help people understand, you know, your, your commitment level. All right. So jam, I'm yeah. going to put you on the spot. Okay. Not Rhea this time. I always ask Rhea the first time. <laughs> first time is you this time. So okay. Jam, uh, try using the expression on fire uh, in, you know, explaining, you know, your passion about something. Okay. Let's give it a try. I don't know if I got to construct it on a right way, but let's give it a try. Um, for example, I'm in an interview and like the interviewer would ask me like what keeps you going something like that so i'd say um the reason why i really want to have this job is because um i want to be able to provide for my family better and i want to be able to live a comfortable life because that is what we all deserve and that's what that and that's what makes me on fire is that right? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Right. That, right. Right. That's good. That's good. All right. So yeah, you could say, you know, um, I'm, I'm really excited about this job. Um, even more than excited, I'm on fire for this job because I really want to support my family and you can count on me because, you know, I'm going to be passionate about this. I'm going to be committed to this. Uh, you can, you know, you can depend on me. So yeah, good job, Jam. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So Ria, I'm gonna put you on the spot now. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's imagine, you know, you're talking kind of in a professional situation. You know, you've been working with people for a while. Maybe it could be Jam. And you know, uh Jam is asking you about, you know. And you know, you know about how your life is going. It could be either work or something, you know, in your personal life. Um, you know, how would you communicate to him about something you're passionate about? Like if you were talking to him and you wanted to communicate to him like something, you know, you're really excited about lately or something that you're really committed to. Can you think of something in your life, either your work or maybe something with, you know, um, in your personal life that you would communicate to him? Mm, okay, let me try. Um, whenever I'm doing the things that I love, I'm on fire like um doing social media manager. Something like that. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. So I know Ria that you're really well organized. I've seen your work and how you, you put things together. So yeah, you can say, you know, I'm I'm passionate about organizing things. I love being the social media manager, and what I especially love or what I'm really on fire about is organizing everything. So there's clear dates, there's clear content, there's a structure. That's where my strength is. And I'm on fire with it. How does that sound? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So yeah, you know, try that. Um, it was, it was a, you said it right, you know, the first time, the more you use it, the more comfortable you get in, you know, the right way to insert it into the way you're speaking. And you'll come across, you know, as you drop it, you'll feel the energy rise in yourself. You know, when you use a powerful expression, when you use a confident expression, that feeling comes inside of you and it's communicated to the other person. And the more you say it, the more it actually becomes true. Right. So Good job, Ria. All right. Erwin, let's let's try uh, you know, using the expression on fire. Can you think of a way you could use the expression on fire either for you know uh your work or some of the stuff you like to do um in your in your personal life? 
true thing. So um, whenever I because not all of not every day that I have good games. So whenever I'm having uh some good games, I can say that I'm on fire today playing these games. So okay, yeah, right, right. So the days you have a you know a good day, you can say, man, today I'm on fire with my games, or you know what. I really like, because you mentioned before, you could say, you know, I love gaming, but really what gets me on fire is being able to teach people how to succeed at gaming. Yep. How does that sound? So try saying that, say, you know, I love gaming, but what really gets me on fire is helping people succeed at gaming. I love gaming. So what makes me happy is uh, I'm on fire when I teach people uh, experience this, uh, the things I that I experienced uh, when it comes to gaming. Good, good, excellent, well done, well done. Yeah, so you know, it, it took you a little while to get used to it because it's your first time to use it. Yeah. And at first, you wanted to say, "I'm happy," right? And happy is a is a great expression. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that, but there's a difference between happy and on fire. On fire is like way up here, right? So you're trying to communicate like the level of passion that you have for something. So because you love gaming and you love helping people at gaming, then I think it's okay to say, you know what? I'm really on fire with this. Like I'm happy with gaming. I like gaming, but what really gets me on fire is helping people with gaming. You know, like that's where my thing is. And people are like, you know, a smart person, you know, like supervisor, boss, you know, CEO, will know the passions of everybody on their team. And if you can communicate your passions, then you're going to fit in better to the organization. You're going to feel like you're making a strong contribution and you're going to find the jobs that fit you just right. So that's going to make you, all of that stuff is going to make you successful. And like Jam, you're going to earn more salary and you're going to take care of your family. You're going to move up. You'll take on more responsibilities and you'll be more successful in, in what you do. So good job, everybody, in, your, job. in using On Fire. Yes. Yes. All right. So, Erwin, you feel like you know the expression a little better? Yep. Yes, of course. Uh, way better. And Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent. My pleasure. You think you can start using it, you know, once in a while in your, your daily life? I think so. Yes, of course. Good, good. So that's what we're trying to do here at the Speak English Confidently podcast, learning new expressions, understanding them, and then getting more comfortable using them in your daily life. Now, it's easier to try to understand and listen. It's another challenge to use it in your daily life. And that's why we built the Flow app so that you can practice over and over. You can sign up and use the Flow app in the link below. So go ahead and click on that. You can sign up for free and try some sample lessons. And if you want to upgrade to premium, you can get all of the lessons. We have hundreds of lessons where you can practice these expressions over and over, like on fire, where you can sound more confident. And so if you practice, you know, 10 times, 20 times, 30 times saying these over and over, then you will be ready to say it when the the moment comes up. And the Flow app helps you practice that and will give you some scoring to show you whether um, you're saying it correctly or not. It's a tool for practicing um, so that you can use these in your daily life and be successful in your career. So I encourage everybody to sign up, join the Flow community. All right, thank you everyone for tuning in for... This week's podcast is Speak English Confidently. We talked about on fire, on fire. This podcast on fire, don't you think, Jam? It is, absolutely. (laughs) Good. So we've got another episode next week we're excited to share with you about. Rhea, what's our our lesson for next week? Um, I'm not sure. (laughs) Stay on top of things. Stay on top of things. Yeah, we gotta stay on top of things. Yeah, we gotta stay on top. Stay on top. Rhea, you're on fire for for staying on top of things. That's yeah. That's <laughs> so stay on top of things. So we're not gonna explain it now. You have to tune in for next week's episode where we break it down, we explain it, where you can understand it. And then you you can practice a little bit. And of course, you can practice as much as you like on the Flow Speak app. Thank you, everyone, for joining this episode. 
feel free to sign up for the Flow Speak app on the link below. We'll see you for next week's episode. Feel free to drop us comments or suggestions about expressions or anything else you want to learn from our podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.